hello guys welcome to see learning with new video in this video we will learn about ospf v3 ospf v2 and ospf uh, we use in ipv4 but uh, in ipv6 we use ospf version 3 so in this video we will configure how to use ospf v3 routing protocol when we are using ipv6 addresses on uh, different pcs uh, so let's uh, go toward the configuration and see how to configure IPv6 uh, OSPF v6. So in our previous video, we learned about uh, how to connect uh, directly connect network uh, via uh, IPv6. Uh, it was a basic configuration lab. Now we will go toward a routing protocol which is advanced for IPv6 OSPF v3. So first of all, we configure on IP address on PCs so i just copy this you can see here this is the public ipv6 address i just copy and paste it here and its address is zero uh, one double colon two and one double colon one here so here uh, same as the two double colon one here two double colon two uh, on this side so let's begin so on on this section we will paste our ipv6 address uh, two and its gateway its subnet is 64 prefix which we say prefix in ipv6 um, and this is the gateway address on this pc as well this pc is 4.0 okay copy just for the quick we just do here uh, two pcs address 64 is a uh, prefix and here we paste one is a gateway which will be this gateway 4.1 so uh, on this first of all we uh, configure ipv6 address on interfaces complete our layer 3 and then we use a routing protocol ospf v3 so ospf v3 is easy as compared to ipv4 uh, IP, uh, ospf v3 configuration is uh, very simple so first of all we go in interface and quickly we give the uh, ip address on interfaces on uh, okay let's make it big so on this interface g001 001 uh, first of all we have to enable ipv6 so just write ipv6 on router so it will be uh, enable on router ipv6 enable on router now we go in interface g001 which is this interface and give the ip address this uh, ipv6 enable first of all we uh, uh, put a command ipv6 enable so ipv6 will be enabled on interface as, as well so now we will do ipv6 address is 2001 colon one double colon one is a gateway and the 64 is a prefix okay now we go on this interface and g000 now we are in g000 and we also give the ipv6 enable command IP, ipv6 address okay 2001 sorry 2001 colon 2 double colon sorry double colon uh, 1 on this side and 64 is prefix and now we go on this router and do the same ipv6 okay in system view ipv6 command on router for uh, enable ipv6 and now we go on interface g000 okay ipv6 enable ipv6 address uh, 2 double colon 2 okay 64 and on this interface g001 we just go above g001 ipv6 enable and the ipv6 address is 1 3 double colon 1 okay 64 sorry double colon 2 and 64 is a prefix okay now we go on this router and do the same in system view ipv6 ipv6 sorry interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 enable on interface ipv6 address 1 3 double colon 2 or oh sorry 1 on this side and 64 
okay now we go on interface g001 now we are on g001 and ipv6 oh sorry uh, ipv6 enable ipv6 address for double colon one on interface and 64 is the prefix okay now we configure ipv6 address on all interface let's ping first it's their gateway either they are reachable or not till their gateway so ping one one double colon one sorry one okay they are reachable from this side either it reachable or not ping four double colon one okay it's reachable till here uh, on this side it will not be reachable because we have to use the routing protocol because they are not uh, directly connected network so we have to use a routing protocol in different routers to uh, manage their connectivity so let's ping either it's ping 3.1 or 3.2 or not let's see uh, 3 double colon 1 it will ping because it's directly connected but it will not ping this because there is no any routing protocol you can see here it will not ping this side because we use we have to use the routing protocol now we use ospf routing protocol so see carefully how uh, we use ospf v3 uh, in ipv6 okay now just we go outside first of all we create ospf v3 1 and now we give the router id router id is 1.1.1.1 .1 okay just come back just do this two thing create ospf v3 and the one is this value and the router id now go back now go in interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this interface we are on this interface okay we are on this interface and make this interface the part of which ospf area ospf and uh, which area do you want to make this interface so uh, here we have to give the command ospf v3 1 and area 0 just give this command because is uh, uh, if this interface in area 0 just write here area 0 if this interface in in uh, area 1 so uh, write here is area one so we in our next video we do uh, a different area communication as well but in this video we are uh, making all these router as they are in area zero so we give all router command that area zero so area zero area zero now we go in interface g001 and give the same command spf1 area zero because they both are in area zero so now we go in a uh, second router on this AR3 on this router and do the same go back OSPF we create OSPF v3 1 and give the router ID 2.2.2.2 and go back and go in interfaces G000 0 0 0 0 and just give the part spf1 and area 0 okay in 1 gives same command spf1 and area 0 because they both are the part of spf version 3 1 and area 0 because all three router are in area 0 so now we go here in this interface in this router sorry and quit ospf version 3 1 router id okay 3.3.3.3 .3 okay and uh, go back in interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, ospf v3 1 area 0 now go on uh, this interface write the same command now ospf v3 has been configured on all the interfaces the route has been exchanged so we will uh, see the route first uh, let's see it's pinging or not now 
it was not pinging before let's see is is pinging or not now you can see here it's reachable because uh, ospa v3 has been configured a routing protocol and they have exchanged their route all three router exchange their route now we will ping this pc either this pc is reachable for this or not so let's see ping one one double colon two okay yes it's reachable so yeah firstly it was not reachable because there was no routing protocol it was reachable till this router only router know they are directly connected they don't know what is the, this side so routing protocol do this and uh, they have exchanged their route so let's see so you have uh, see that uh, it uh, they are pinging and reachable to each other so no need to confirm the route but we will see uh, display ospf v3 routing routing so you can see here all three networks are here two one double colon two double colon three double colon and four double colon all networks are in ospf routing table so this is the command to display ospf routing table so display ip routing table so you can see here all uh, the network also present on this so you can see here okay in ip routing table there are only uh, loopback address and because it's not the v6 we have to uh, give the command ospf ipv6 routing table okay now you can see here so all the network also present here interface present next hope is double colon one and the destination is this one for this address so you can see here this is the routing table so that's all for today's video if you have any questions so you can ask in comment hope you like the video and understand the configuration how we can configure ospf v3 in our uh, next video uh, we see how we configure ospf v3 in different area using ipv6 so thank you very much